Information management projects remain top priority and are seen by many organisations as the key driver of transformational change. Despite this continued investment and focus, business users rarely feel that IM provision is adequate and often they consider it not even fit for purpose. Business users challenge IT with issues on trust, access to critical data and understanding of information, while IT struggles to align with business goals and truly engage with business users. These issues must be solved before an organisation can even begin to contemplate making information more pervasive and embedding informed decision making into the business process. Failure to address these issues will inevitably result in an incomplete, disjointed and fragmented information capability that misses the true business need and will certainly fail to deliver an information driven organisation. In order to understand how to deal with this problem, it's a good idea to understand how the problem evolved in the first place. Most IT organisations have built and purchased various operational systems over time. These include commercial off-the-shelf packages such as ERP, CRM and so on, and typically more bespoke, homegrown type applications. It is often the case that these systems provide their own capability for reporting, at least from an operational perspective, and each will come with its own mechanism for information delivery. The problem starts to emerge as business requires more information to be added to these reports. IT may be asked to hold more history in the operational reports, or even copy data from one system to another to support information access and reporting needs. Eventually what emerges is a whole series of links culminating in different data flows and very likely before long inconsistency in results being reported. So IT sticking plasters are then superimposed on the diagram, typically in the form of operational data stores, data marts and so on. Inevitably though, these only half fix the problem. It remains the case that information remains inconsistent, untrusted and therefore is unlikely to be used by business decision making with any degree of confidence. How can we look at this problem differently? Computer science has often looked at natural phenomena for innovative solutions to problems. So perhaps we can look at a naturally occurring messaging solution. The central nervous system has evolved over millions of years as opposed to the 50 or so years that modern IT solutions have been around. It consists of operational systems, arms, legs, eyes, ears, internal organs. These both do things and generate data. The data is transported to one central network and ultimately destined for the brain. Two levels of decision making are available. The first is ostensibly an operational decision, fight or flight. Do I immediately respond to this threat and run away, for example? However, more developed animals and humans record information in the brain and interpret it. The interpretation is for a specific reason, to take action, and the action message is sent from the brain to the operational system which will take the action. The analogy works well. We know that as we develop, we record and store more data, or as we might describe it, memory or experience, and therefore the chosen action taken improves as we mature. So could we apply the same technique to systems and how would this look? Technology today can enable us to architect this with just one occurrence of data integration. The architecture we should aim for should aim to have no data movement between operational systems, only to the BI and W layer, which should be instrumental in determining the next best activity or decision. Of course, operational reporting from a particular operational system is still fine, but if enhanced information with other sources is required, then rather than get this information from the operational sources, we should always get this from the single point of integration, the BI and W layer. Of course, what we need is a whole architecture, an integration approach which will enable this to happen, and a technology platform to give the necessary performance, availability and security. We'll discuss these aspects in later sessions.